We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Texas Rangers and the Oakland A's. At the plate, Elvis Andrews. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. Two and two. Not the warmest night you'll see around here and even 50 degrees at game time. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Piscotti's there for it. He's got it one away. So next to the plate for Texas, Hunter Cole. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. The count now at two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be enough. Oh, hang on now. This ball is deep down the line in right. It looks to have the distance, and it's fair. A home run. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding boink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Into the box now, Joey Gallo. Outside, two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. Count remains full. Still only one out in the inning. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Simeon's there. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught as that'll be an infield single. At the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. Now a curveball misses inside. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Up next for the Rangers, Danny Santana. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Two and one. All even now. Two and two. Gallo is off of first with two away. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. Standing in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. One out, nobody on. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Grounded to first. Reined in. 
And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semyon. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Oh, look at Frazier. Got him. Second inning set to go. Ready now, Todd Frazier. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Into the box, Rupnit Odor. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. Standing in, Ronald Guzman is coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. Now the 2-1 pick. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Scooped up to second for one. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Matt Olson batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. A 1 1. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Mark to the plate now. Mark Canna tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So a runner at third here with one gone and that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. Two balls and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he popped him up. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Standing in now, Steven Piscotti. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. This is lifted out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. So stepping in, Austin Allen. Yes, he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 2-1. Shot toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And both runners will score as the lead changes hands here at 3-2. The battle, number 22. Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano. Hit hard back up the middle. There is Andrus. And a fine play there up the middle. May have saved a run as the inning is over. So Elvis Andrus the next to bat. Hit out towards second. He's got it. 
throw to first oh. in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging now in Hunter Cole the right fielder. Hunter Cole. Hard hit ball to short taken in by Simeon. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. But listen. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Tony Kemp. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Here's another two two. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. So now to the plate, Marcus Simeon. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The two two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Can't connect there. It's two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Right side and right into the shift. A dive and he knocks it down. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Into the box, Mark Canna. One and two. Runners on first with one down. Hard sinker misses two and two. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Three balls and two strikes, a full count to the A's DH. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. This misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now with the play, Chris Davis. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. Given the situation, he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Mm -hmm. 
one and two. Here it is. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The two two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Here's Joey Gallo now as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Cole to strike, and it's full three and two. The bouncer to the left side. Chapman has it cleanly. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. In now, Robinson Chirinos. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The 2-2. Two -two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Digging in, Danny Santana. Danny. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Belted high in the air out to left. Davis going back to the track and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Digging in now, Austin Allen. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. A 1 1. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. On, he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. Now batting, number 22. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. Now a swing and a fly ball. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. The one-two. To short. Andrus fields it cleanly. Odor to first and Guzman to complete the double play. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Here's Todd Frazier now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And the count will be full. Three two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Loriano is there and he has it for the first out. So the base now is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnet Odor. Change up. Paul to strike and he comes back even at two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Ready with another 2-2. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. A 
Full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. The first baseman. So striding in, Ronald Guzman. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Two runs on two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Throw over to first. A bouncer up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Colby Aller, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Colby. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Into the box now. Marcus Semyon. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Olson. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. High chopper over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So now it's Mark Hanna. No hits to this point. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 2-1 home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Ready once again, Hunter Cole. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. So two away for the Rangers here in the sixth. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two and two count. Here it comes. Helpful. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Pulled toward right center field. Loriano is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. 
And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The left fielder, number two, Chris Davis. At the plate now, Chris Davis. This is line to left. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. And the runner from second is in to score. It's five to two. Standing in now, Stephen Piscotti. And it's fouled away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now at the plate, Austin Allen. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. 1-1. One, one. Line drive to center field. Santana is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. Here's the one and two. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Santana will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Yasmera Petit is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 36. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Grounded softly to the right. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batter. Stepping up to the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. Danny Santana. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Fouled away. 5 2 our score as we play inning number seven. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Pitch on the way. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And Todd Frazier on deck will have a chance to bat this inning. Jake Diekman will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Stepping in now, Todd Frazier. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Riding in once again, Rupnit Odor. It was a walk in his last trip. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want it. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning, 
Brett Martin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Brett. Last half of the seventh here. Now at the plate, Tony Kemp. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Cole moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Digging in to try it again. Marcus Semyon not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now a move over to first. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. To the plate now, Matt Olson. Two and one to the A's first baseman. There he goes. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he fouls this one off. First and second now, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cole is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. Now batting third base player. The 3 1 hit down the line at first, reined in, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Joaquin Soria has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Ready for another chance. Ronald Guzman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The 2 1 home. Fouled off. Lifted in the air out to right. Piscotti's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go Elvis Andrews here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone got to find a way to scratch at least one across you do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Another payoff pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. In comes Piscotti, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now back the right field. Hunter. Into the box, Cole. Hunter Cole. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here now tonight. Back. So it's a runner at first with two men out and into bat next former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. And this one's up around the eyes two and one. And he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. 
good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. J.B. Wendelkin trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And he falls behind him here as that pitch misses. It's 2-1 and one now to the Texas left fielder. Counts even 2-2 two and two to Joey Gallo. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 ball game. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Two and two count. Here it comes. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. Andres blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate. And it's a 5-3 game now. Anderson Tejeda will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. The batter. The catcher. Robinson. So now to the plate, Robinson Chirinos. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Jesse Chavez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Jesse. Ready for another shot now, Chris Davis. Davis waits on the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it misses 3 and 1 now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And it's fouled away. Well hit deep down the right field line and that is off the wall but in foul territory foul ball high in the air out to center field Santana will wait on it and he puts it away for the first down. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The three and one pitch. He has swung on and missed a full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. Smoke toward third. Throw gets him two down. Into the box now. Austin Allen two for three with a double on his line so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Liam Hendricks comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Striding into the box, Danny Santana. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. A hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. And that is into right field, so the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Matt Duffy come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. A 
Ball and two strikes. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Here's Rognet Odor now. In previous meetings with Liam Hendricks, not great, and he's one for eight. The 1-1. One, one. Runner at first here, one man out. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Here he comes again, one, two. Now Odor turns on one and sends it to deep right. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. The next 3-2. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Elvis Andrews. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground for Simeon at short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now batting, Ramon Laureano. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. In there, two and two. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Tony Kemp is on deck. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Coming to the plate now, Tony Kemp. He's one for four for the game. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. High in the air out to center field. Santana is there now, and he has it, two gone. Settling in now, Marcus Semyon. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Here's the payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Lou Trevino takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. At the plate, Hunter Cole. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Popped him up. Olsen has a play, one out. Oh. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. Anderson Tejeda, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A 1-1 home. Swing and a miss, so a perfect start to the tenth here. Two up and two down. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Into the corner and slicing foul. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Strikes him out here for route number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Cody Allen comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here, and that'll bring up Matt Olson. So far, two for three in this one. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Now another 1-2. Hard hit and deep toward the right field line. That's in for a base hit. He's now 3 for 4. Now back, the designated hitter. Mark. In now, Mark Hanna. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and foul though it had the home run distance. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Matt Chapman has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. To two balls and two strikes now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Now to the plate, Chris Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stepping into the box, Robinson Chirinos. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Hit the other way out toward right field. The Scotty's on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping in, Danny Santana. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder. It bangs off the scoreboard and it's gone. Standing in now, Matt Duffy. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. 
really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Jose LeClerc takes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12th. Stepping up now, Stephen Piscotti looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Now the three and two pick. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half now here in extra innings. The catcher. Okay. So digging in now, Austin Allen. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Quick check on that tying run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. Nobody out, runner on first. Outside, two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. Hit hard down the left field line, but this is going to get foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now At the plate, Ramon Laureano. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to... And he's in the second safely with the stolen base. The 3-1. One out and a runner on second base. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The batter. Striding the in, base Tony base. Kemp. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home yeah. from second. Last strike now for Oakland. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So last chance here and stepping in, Marcus Semyon. And the game is on the line. The tying and winning runs on base with two gone in the bottom of the ninth. He's got it, and the Rangers have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end, 6-5 to five, the final. Cody Allen wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Jose LeClerc hammers down the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rangers six runs eight hits no errors they left seven men on base for the athletics five runs ten hits no errors they left ten men on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes.